Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday news show. This week, the kids are still crushing, so I'm in a mood, but I suppose we have to talk about it. Good morning, Teresa. How's things? Good morning, Matthew. Good. Besides... I doubt the camera can see that, but what you're showing me is damaged skin from boulderizing, right? You boulderized. It hurts. Yes, I deeply regret it. That's my credo. No regrets. Mm Mm-hmm. You have no regrets? Dad? No. Nope. Like not even a single letter? No, no. way. <laughs> if you want to see uh, Teresa Corti boulderizing, uh, then wait for Six Send Show on a Thursday. She's got a Six Send coming. It's banging, absolutely banging from Magic Wood. Uh, shall we crack on with some actual news? Go ahead. I'm going to start with a potential 9B that's actually sort of a 9A+. Plus. As reported by 8A.nu, Jorge Diaz Rulo has climbed the 9A plus slash 9B Majorando Imogen in Margalef, Spain. This is the third repeat of the route. First considered to be a 9A+, Alex Magos suggested an upgrade to 9B. Jorge sent it in eight days, and he's already sent six other 9Bs. The route clearly needs more repeats before a grade can be confirmed, so watch this space. So another case of a climber shooting himself in the foot and getting off our 9B counter. I'm disappointed. Y- y- this it... is your continual state at the moment, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just disapproving at life. Look, if Alex Magos' record of route was a, was a grade, right? Yeah. I would, I would keep very quiet. I'd just be like... Yeah, exactly. He Sweet. said it. I'll just tag along. Exactly. I don't know. I feel people just want controversy in life, though. So maybe he's just like steering things up. We can't call this show another downgrade. Show. No, 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 no. no. We, re- we really can. Let's get some artist- artistic, journalistic integrity here. Um, but it is interesting. Um, he's done six other 9Bs, which I didn't realize. So yeah. to be fair to him, he probably knows if a 9B is a 9B or a 9A+. Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But three cents, more cents to come. See what happens. It's also worth mentioning, he actually sent, uh, what, an 8C plus flash? Or did he? Recently, I, yes, I knew that. 8C, 8C plus I knew flash. That. I knew anyway, that. he's on good form. Maybe that's why he just thinks it's an eight, a, a, a 9A plus. Could be. Anyway, we're moving on to El Capitan because there are some interesting ascents. Canadian climber Bronwyn Higgins made the third female free ascent of Golden Gate 513 on El Capitan. She completed the 41 pitch route in eight days. She only started climbing eight years ago, making this ascent even more impressive. More news from El Cap, where Brittany Gores has free climbed Salate Wall. This is her first big wall free climb, and she worked the route for over a month, abseiling from the top, figuring out the beta for the head wall. Salate Wall was the first climb on El Cap that was climbed without aid by Todd Sinner and Paul Piana in 1988. Good to see news from El Cap, and uh, we're actually coming up on that anniversary of Alex Arnold doing Freerider. Are we? In free solo. When was that? 3rd of June? Wow. 3rd or 7th. <gasps> oh my god, Terry T doesn't know a date. This is heart-stopping, ladies and gentlemen. She'll, right. she'll, she'll pick herself up, she'll find herself again. Um, Bronwyn, like mega, eight years climbing. I remember I, seeing her in videos, just like gradually crushing, you know what I mean? And then yeah, suddenly yeah, just yeah. like, Pow. I mean, free climbing, Golden Gate. It's pretty cool, that. Pretty cool. Not many other people, not many women have done that. Uh, it's just super, not super many impressive. other people not, not have many done people, that. Full stop, yeah, exactly. Now, at the beginning of the show, I chatted about how uh, I hate the youth, and now I've got to do a youth story. 12-year-old Gianluca Vigetti has climbed the 8C plus route La Extrema Cura Plus. He's been crushing for years, having done four 8As at only eight years old. As reported by 8A.nu, in a one-week trip, he also did six 8As and 8A pluses on site. This crusher clearly is designed for big things, and his obsession with on siting could mean some records might fall in the future. What's outrageous about that story, I think, is the on site as much as the sort of AC plus. Six AA, AA plus is just insane. I mean, he has to warm up, right? That's true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's depressing. That, that's more or less his warm up on 8A. Exactly. I mean, look, obviously, I always joke about being bitter ish. Get off my lawn. Like, AA is a dumb one. It's my lifetime achievement at that moment <laughs> in climbing. He just crushes it at the crag. So, fair play, mate. Well done. I've got another 12-year-old crusher. 12-year-old American climber Annalise Van Hong has climbed her first 8B or V13 boulder, Chinese Connection, in Mortar Rock. 
It took her only three sessions, and on the send video, you can see she gives it her all. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm, I'm more annoyed by that one than I am about my one. Did you hear me? I said get off my lawn now. It'd be bolder. Bolder, you know that's yeah. my thing. Yeah, 12 year old already sending 8B. Unbelievable, isn't and it? I read she did like an 8A plus in under 45 minutes. Really? That's crazy. That's impressive. Fair play to you too. Well done. <laughs> uh, now we're going to move on to the 9A roundup. Bakalet Smolenski has climbed the 9A Turkish haircut. The 16 year old spent 12 days projecting it over two trips, as reported by 8A.NU. The young climber does his schoolwork at home, allowing him to pursue climbing, often traveling with his parents. Austrian climber Eva Hammemuller climbed underground an 8C plus slash 9A in Arco at the Crag of Massone. This route took her 11 tries in total. Kimi de la Pena made the first ascent of Panodrama, proposing the grade of 9A. Previously, the 35-year-old has done 13 8C pluses and 4 9As. 16-year-old 9A, I told you the youth was on fire this week. Uh, that's pretty cool. Travels around, does his schoolwork at home, sends it in via the internet and climbs as much as possible. It's the way forward. That is the way forward. I feel like summer, summer holidays are coming up, so we'll see more youth ascents, unfortunately, Matt. Oh, wonderful. Uh, let's talk about Chamonix now. As you know, I love a Chamonix mountaineering story, mm -hmm. and this one is a good one. Tom Livingston and Matt Glenn have made a repeat of the rarely climbed Vol du Dragon on Le Droit and Rolling Stone on the Grand Jaras. There is a great piece of writing on UKC with both the climbers sharing their perspectives on the two climbs. These are big mountain routes, with Vol du Dragon needing five bivvies. The pair completed them during winter, having waited for a weather window. Both the routes have hard, mixed pitches in them, up to M7 on the Droit and M8 on the Jaras. With the lifts still being shut in France, just getting to the base of these climbs is an undertaking, forcing them to skin up from the valley. I think this skinning up thing is not to be underestimated. I mean, well, you and I have spent a uh, winter in Chamonix with no lifts, walking uphill a lot. Yes. Can you imagine walking uphill, like up, up to the top of Grand Monte, or over to the Jurass? I mean, that, it, like people do it all the time, I get it, but it's just another thing to do. Do they do it? it all the time? No, but it's like, what, it takes already a day to get there. You're actually exhausted. Yeah. And then you have like... Yeah, but these guys are athletes. 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 Uh, they're super rad athletes for doing something like this. Is yeah. Uh, Tom was in the basement gym that we used the other day at Josh's house, um, and you sort of forget with Tom. He's so understated as a climber, like the fact that he just goes out and does badass stuff, and then just kind of like, chills with his mates in the climbing wall. Mm, he's cool really guy. tall. He's, he's that's a I good observation. I feel that helps yep. him in his climbing. <laughs> right there, you go, Tom. You're only doing it because you're tall. Uh, we've got a nine B counter roundup now. Yeah. Ooh. Jorge messed it up, basically. He, didn't, he doesn't want to be on the 9B counter. I also feel pro climbers don't really know we have this thing going on. What? Yeah, we should actually put the word out there. Are you, hang on, are you saying that pro climbers don't know about the 9B counter? I doubt it. But people do tag us under people doing 9Bs, although that has stopped recently. So, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, please tag us. Every, whenever you see a pro climber smashing a 9B, make sure you either tag myself, Therese, Epic TV, whatever you want under that post so we know what's going on. We need your help and subscribe. <laughs> Shop stuff now, uh, and I wanted to chat about Petzl, mainly because we've just done a shop order of some gear. Yes. And I've got the new Sirocco helmet coming over. That's exciting. It That's is, really exciting. It is kind of exciting. Like, that super, super fast and light. I've never worn one. Will you actually wear it during sport climbing now? Yes. Will you make an effort? On Climbing Daily and Epic TV, I will make an effort to wear a helmet during sport climbing. I will, of course, wear my helmet uh, in my personal time during trad climbing. I'm not, not going to go into the helmet debate. The point is, I've got a fast and light helmet covered with Petzl. And if you want to grab Petzl stuff, it's now on the shop, restocked, back in, grab yourself some goodies. And T, Third Rock. I mean, personal connection here. Yes, kind of. Uh, they sent me some clothes over, which I really appreciate. But since I've tried them out, I gotta say they are super soft. It's all organic and they have very colorful patterns and nice matchy matchy outfits. So for anybody that doesn't want to, you know, overthink your climbing outfit, they just do it for you because they have cute outfits and very stretchy jeans. Okay. 
So stretchy enough for me? Could I fit into jeans? I mean, you really do need some new jeans. I really do. I've got some coming. Don't worry. Uh, if you want to check out Third Rock stuff uh, and Petzl stuff, link down below as per usual. Now, content couch stuff. Uh, the first thing we're chatting about, I can't remember. We are talking about <laughs> my brain. Literally, just went, my brain Pakistan. literally just went blank. It just went. It made a buzzing sound and it shut down. I'll let you do it. I'm gonna sit and drink um, coffee. There's a movie that came out last week on Epic TV, uh, and it's about sport climbing Pakistan. My name is Sajid Aslam. I'm going to rock climbing for 13 years. I'm going to climbing World Cup in speed and lead. In 2016, I participated in China. Then in 2018, I participated in Asian Games in Pakistan. I participated in Jakarta, Indonesia. और इस सारी के साथ जब मैंने मैं रॉक क्लाइमिंग कर रहा हूँ इस्लामाबाद के अंदर और रॉक क्लाइमिंग के ट्रेनिंग सेशन भी कर रहा हूँ अब अपने आप के लिए कोई नए चैलेंज सेट करना चाह रहा था तो उसके लिए मैंने इस्लामाबाद के अंदर जो सिक्स ए टू सिक्स सी प्लस जो फाइव टेन बी टू फाइव इलेवन सी जो अमेरिकन डेसीमल सिस्टम ग्रेडिंग सिस्टम है इतने ग्रेड थे वो इतने उनको करने की कोशिश की Right, my brain is reinitiated. I shut it down, press reset, and it's rebooted itself. Uh, so the second content I'm chatting about is How to Big Wall Part 2. There is How to Big Wall Part 1 already uh, on the Epic TV main YouTube channel. This is Part 2, a bit about portal ledges. Uh, if you're thinking of big walling or if you're just a climbing sort of rope person, you want to know all the technicalities, this is for you. Check out the teaser. We start today's episode at the climbing stand. I just jumped up the wall and Yannick gave me an extraordinarily positive feedback. What did you think about my performance? Yeah, it was okay, but that's not enough for the nose. <laughs> for sure. Now it's time to get our gear, which is still sitting on the ground. So now it's about uh, to haul. Mm -hmm. uh, you can clip yourself. This process is called hauling, and it basically means that we pull up the hauling bag and portalage with the static rope. But first, we need to take in the spare part of the rope, as it is quite long, and we didn't climb that far. As soon as the rope is tense, the real work starts. In, and then you clip it in your harness. Like the principle is simple. I am going to pull using my own body weight. The rope is guided through a microtraction at the anchor. Those videos are linked down below, so do go and check them out and subscribe to the main channel as well as us. Comment of the week, do I get to sing this week? No, because somebody sent a video, so check it out. Comment of the week. That was from Tim Mayer, uh, awesome little video. Do send your videos to climb at epictv.com or slide into our DMs, send us a video. Please keep them coming. Or actually don't, because I want to sing, but you know, stop me singing by keeping them coming. Keep them coming. Ah, oh, come on. Have you got one? I do have one, and it's from that one guy, 240. And he says, holy S, the biceps on Marcello look like my quads. <laughs> they did look massive. He looked so stacked in that video. I kind of want to oh, meet him and like <laughs> take a picture with my bicep, with, no, with his bicep. Yes, next no, to your leg. next to my quad, yes. Right, I actually want to see this happening. So Marcello, Just if like... you're watching, run, Marcello, run away from her if you see her. She will make <laughs> you do something weird. Uh, my comment is from Grey Wolf Climbs, and he just says, Your Italian pronunciation is improving, Matt. Hale freaking Lulia, because I get slated a lot for my pronunciations. Um, yeah, I feel you picked that comment just because it was a compliment. Yes, I have an ego. I'm on camera. But mm. you help, obviously. You're Italian, you whisper things to Ci me provo. when I'm trying to speak stuff. You did learn a very important word. I did. Would you like to hear my important word, word ladies and gentlemen? Here we go. <clears throat> my Italian word for the week is. Prelunga means extension lead. Very useful on film sets. Prolunga. Anyway, on that note, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.